Hey y'all, I have a Honda generator here on the front of my travel trailer and every time I'm boondocking I would have to plug in the cord from the trailer to my generator. It wasn't long enough, I had to make a small short extension cord. So now I'm making a permanent transfer switch underneath my sink next to my power panel which, which will help when I'm boondocking. So I got a cord, I ran under 10 gauge cord, I ran under my trailer. Haven't cut it to length or attached it to the frame yet, but it will go in, plug in to the 30 amp twist lock with this 30 amp twist lock attachment for the cord. First thing I did, I made sure that I was disconnected from the city. So I will attach the cord underneath to the beam all the way back behind my wheel I'm gonna use these connectors or attachments and I'm gonna put the cord through there and screw it on that way it won't come off with an impact 5 sixteenths under here where it goes under my sink I just drilled a hole going straight up so here's my power panel it's a 120 power panel so I only have one hot going to a 40 amp a tandem 40 20 breaker so this is where my city power comes in I just disconnected this 10 gauge uh, Romex this is gonna have to feed my transfer switch straight from where my trailer plugs in so I had to take off uh, this ground and this 10 gauge neutral. That's gonna hook up to the line side feeder right here on top. Generator, this is the generator cord I have out there. I routed it through the floor. Coming up through the connector. And it's gonna land on the generator side. Then I'm gonna come with another cord from here going to my power panel. I'm just gonna jump right across to here. That way, when the city's on, it'll come through to my power panel. When the generator's on, it'll come through to my power panel. Just wanted to show you before I connect this, I'm connecting up the power panel to the bottom of the city. And I'm not even cutting it, I just brought it in long and bent it over, I'm gonna stick it under there. I already did L1, which is my hot. This is two, it has two written on the wire. It'll be my neutral. This is a has a third wire, I just have it way goed off down here in the bottom. Um, so with my ground, I, I had to bring it in long anyway to get my ground long enough to connect because my city ground, which is my feeder, is a little short to bring it to the bottom. So I had to bring this one to the top. And I'll show you how I'm going to connect those in a minute. Okay, this is the connector I'm going to use for the ground. That way I can put three of them in there. I have a, it, it'll take a number 10 to 14 solid and number four four to uh, what does that say 14 stranded so no problem it just has little allen wrenches in here that'll tighten the the one wire going in here one going in here and then I'll just take one of these plastic caps off put the other one in there and this thing solid metal inside it all connects the grounds so this ground will be the city ground which is the orange number 10 Romex. Then 
the ground coming from the generator and the ground going to the panel. Okay, so now you see that black cord coming in at the bottom that is the panel I've got it going up to the load side of the city power jumper and over hot and neutral jumping over to the panel will be hot when the generators on or it'll be hot when the city's on this automatic transfer switch is designed where it as soon as it loses city powder it will transfer over to generator and vice versa but it can never city and generator can never be on at the same time it it's impossible because it turns the city off before the generator power comes on and i still have to start my generator it won't start my generator but I just won't have to run an extension cord to my generator. So there's the city coming in hot and neutral. There, black and white, number 10 solid. And this cord is my generator coming in at the top, hot and neutral. So you got two different power sources on the top. This will be hot or this will be hot which will get to the power panel through the jump jumper on the load side. And then I'm just gonna tuck everything away. That's the connector I put it on. I didn't need this insulated connector for the ground, but I just happened to have it, so I, so I put it on. You could use anything to connect those grounds with a wire nut or a uh, grounding lug, bare grounding lug. So, my AC's been off. It's kind of hot outside. This, uh, so uh, I'm gonna go turn the power on. If it doesn't work. I'm just gonna add on that it didn't work. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Well, I figured I'd go ahead and show you. I did turn the city on, and. It is hot, so it went to the on side of the normal. That's N for normal power, R for reserve power. It's kind of weird how it points towards the generator reserve when normal's over there, but that's how it works. So now I'm going to leave this right here and turn my AC on, see what happens. Well, I don't know why the AC didn't come on. I'm going to try the TV. Didn't work yet. Let me see what's wrong. Well, well, I've had this switch for a while, and I did test it, so it worked. Maybe I was wrong about the point of direction. But I did notice it is on manual instead of auto. So let me switch it over to auto because I can tell I still have city power at the top. Right here. Manual to auto. Let's see what happens. No. Well, since it should be on, let's check power at the bottom. Power at the bottom. Hmm. Let's see. I don't have 120 power on my TV or my AC. 
without power coming into my panel and my 40 amp breaker is on. Got my neutral hooked up, ground hooked up, and hot hooked up. I don't know yet. Well, I got it working. I don't know what the problem was, but I'll tell you what happened. I got a meter out, and I had hot at the top, but I, my neutral, my white